What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some awesome fish that we got. And if you are new to the channel, please drop a like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. All right guys, I am back at the house. It is a few days later, but I have these guys acclimating in the tank right now. I got three new fish, three new. And they are some good ones, let me tell you. But while those are acclimating in the tank, we're gonna throw the horses some hay and then I'll show you guys the fish. We did finally get some nice weather out here. It's over 70 degrees, finally. Let's see if I can get these horses some hay without them trampling me. I need wire cutters. All right, and that is how you do it. I just seen their trough is empty, so now I gotta fill up their trough with water. I'm gonna shove it through like that. And it can just water fall in there. And we are rolling, boys and girls. Getting this day started. Now so many things going on at once. I'm gonna show you guys the new fish we got now. I almost messed up and left the door to where we hold the hay open. That would have been bad. All right, now I will see you guys inside. All right, we are back inside. Let's get the show on the road. The fish are done acclimating, and this is my 125 gallon cichlid tank. I only have cichlids in here other than my Chinese algae eaters. They keep all the algae off the sides of my tank. You know, a little less maintenance that I have to do on my end. All right, so up first we've got this electric blue cichlid. Just look at them colors. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. i get him in the tank and see how he does. Ran away instantly. Hopefully he does all right. He's a little bit smaller than the other ones. He should be fine though. He is a male. I'm just worried about this yellow guy. He's my dominant male in the tank. And he is a Kenny cichlid. And so is this one right here. But she is a female and them two have bred. But it seems she has got gold on her now. Rather than the purplish color she had. Anyways, up next we've got an albino peacock cichlid the beautiful i like albinos go ahead and get him in the tank see how he does hopefully they just find some holes and hide until they adjust to the tank so they don't get picked on but it looks like this guy is just getting along with them all already the electric blue getting chased a little bit he should be all right that albino is already hiding and then lastly, we have what they call, they call it a Cribbensis cichlid. And I think I might put him in the grow out in the little breeder thing, cause he is just too tiny. He's gonna get eaten by the males. But that grow out is actually in my Molly tank, which is in here. And here we go. There he is. He should be all right in here. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give him, give him about another month and then see how he does I actually let him down down here right there in that corner I'm gonna see how he does with the mollies my mollies aren't super aggressive at all but you know how fish are so I just have to keep my eyes on them and that cribbensis cichlid or however you say it um, might look super plain right now as a little fry but when they're adults they get this pretty red streak down their uh, dorsal fin and on their tail and they get like this dot on their tail as well and they're super pretty when they're adults so it is worth the wait he's he's got to grow up i'm gonna give you guys one more look at the cichlid tank just so you guys can see what all i got in here so far we have some electric yellow cichlids uh, i told you about my kenya cichlids already i'm not sure the name of this one so i don't know if you guys can see that if you guys can tell me what breed that is, comment down below. But then we have a Mangano cichlid. 
another albino peacock cichlid. He's only considered albino because of his eyes. And I told you about that Kenny cichlid. I got two electric yellows. Then I also have two convict cichlids as well. And then my sucker fish, of course, I told you about. And a quick update on the goldfish. They are getting huge and fat. This is my 55 gallon goldfish tank. And this guy is just, he is massive. You see him compared to my hand. He is huge. All of them are really, but stay tuned because very soon I'm gonna be building these guys a koi pond. I do have one koi right here. He's starting to get big, but as soon as they outgrow the tank, then I'm gonna be building them a pond outside. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, subscribe. I'm gonna start posting a lot more, at least once a week. And yeah, peace.